nurse practitioner by trade specialized in functional medicine. I took kind of a um, different route than some. I was a pre-medical student in undergrad, and then a grad school program allowed me to streamline that pre-medical degree directly into a nurse practitioner program. So the first year of that program, it was a, a six months uh, or six semesters total. So the first year was your general nursing, and then the entire second year was your specialized nurse practitioner program. And in the middle of those two years, you had to take what's called the NCLEX, which is the test that you have to take to get your RN, your typical nursing degree. And then at the end, you take your nurse practitioner exam. So kind of different than some. As a nurse practitioner, um, which is a step up from a nurse, a step down from a doctor, you can come in making around 80000 to 100000 I would say, typically. Now, I started making a little higher than that amount, but then I transitioned into a virtual practice. So I transitioned from working in a typical traditional office, like you would go to a doctor's office, to practicing natural functional medicine online as a virtual health consultant. And as an online health consultant, you can make a lot more money um, doing that, making six, seven figures a year. Now that I have transitioned to a home business, I work from my home office. My number one priority is taking care of myself because I know as a natural health consultant and a nurse practitioner that if your health is not on point, nothing else will work out. You're not able to show up fully in your life. So that looks like waking up, enjoying a relaxing morning with my baby at home because I do have an 11-month-old. I feed myself nourishing food and hydration. I move my body. And then around 11 o'clock, I start my day and I start seeing clients. My appointments are via Skype. So we log on Skype. We do our consultation. I may review some labs that they got ordered. I may give some recommendations. We go over environment and lifestyle. And I wrap up my day around four. <laughs> and that's what you can do when you're an entrepreneur. And then I um, and then I go into mom mode again. I start getting dinner ready. I start getting ready for my husband to come home from work, get the baby ready, and um, and I I call myself a mompreneur. The biggest challenge would definitely be guidance and knowing what to do. As an entrepreneur and living in a virtual land, it's often very confusing to know what steps to take because there's a lot of people guiding you different directions. So it's hard to know where should I invest my money and my time and how should I get from point A to point B to ultimate my, my ultimate goals. That's the most challenging part for sure. But the most rewarding is that I get to make my own life. I get to design my schedule. I get to pick who I work with. All clients have to apply to work with me so I can, I don't have to work with people I don't want to. So I create a lifestyle that I want for myself at the same time impacting and helping the lives of thousands of people. So it's a win-win and that is by far the most rewarding part of my job. To be an, an online health consultant, you have to be motivated. You have to be the kind of person who, yes, has dreams, but doesn't give up on those dreams for anything. Because as an entrepreneur, you're going to have a lot of setbacks thrown at you, a lot of disappointment, a lot of discouragement. But you have to be the kind of person to be, instead of saying, oh, well, someday I'm going to do this, you'd be the person who says, oh, shoot, this happened. What am I going to put in place right now to help me get over this hump? Because my dreams are, are right around the corner and they're happening this year or whatever it is. You have to have, be that kind of person who's not satisfied with the status quo, but wants to raise the bar and always raise the standard in life to reach for more and to put things in place to make that happen. First and foremost, I would say find your why. If you are looking to create your own business as an entrepreneur, whether that be a natural health consultant like myself or anything else, you must know your why because it is very difficult and there are a lot of challenges. It takes a lot of investing in both yourself, your business, your family, whatever. So know your why. Why do you want to do this? And then second of all, reach out and find people that you can put into place to make that happen. 
So find somebody such as a mentor who is five years ahead of you, five steps ahead of you, and have them teach you and show you how to do it. It will streamline everything so nicely for you.